Hi, my name is Sammy. I'm originally from Wisconsin. I just served the last two years in the Diocese of Toledo and I'll be returning to serve for a third year of mission. Serving as a Culture Project missionary reminds me every single day that I'm made for more than what this world has to offer me. And this mission strives to remind us that we are made for so much more. I notice that in my friendships, they start to reflect the communion that God has created us for rather than just surface level friendships that you experience day to day or the words that we preach to the people around us are all about this God who is far beyond anything that we could experience in our day-to-day -day life in this world. So it just reminds me continuously who I am and what I'm made for. This past year, I was giving a human dignity presentation to some high school students and I had a girl come up to me after and she just said, I've been really mad at God. She had a couple things that were really difficult happening in her life and that had put a really strong strain on her relationship with God. And it wasn't necessarily anything in the talk that stuck out to her, but rather just seeing somebody, particularly a young woman who's not that much older than her, love God. She just said, I really needed to see someone love God the way that I want to love God. And I had the opportunity to speak to her uh, after a couple more talks throughout the next couple of weeks. And she had just said, that her relationship with God has gotten stronger, her relationship with her friends have gotten stronger because she's just been able to recognize the love that God has for her in her own life, that she's experienced through the, being able to hear the talks about the love of God, being able to experience that through missionaries and reflecting that in her day-to-day -day life, which is exactly what we hope students can take away. The Culture Project recognizes that teenagers are capable of real suffering, that they have real wounds. They go through difficult things in their life. That's not just something that's set aside for adults or people in really tragic situations. And what we do is we recognize those places of hurt. We recognize the addiction. We recognize the hurtful relationships that they have. We recognize whatever situation is holding them back from believing that they're worthy of love and we speak into it. And yes, we speak through it through the Catholic lens of the gospel and we get to preach to them the love of God, but we first and foremost get to relate that to the very real hurt that they experience as a generation and as an individual.